Hello YouTube, Red Math here, and welcome back to the Red Estate. For today's episode, we're going to take a little bit of a break from the cove and all of its deadly glory. And instead, uh, we're going to look at some of the champion bosses that we haven't taken on yet. Um, I'm thinking, due to the reward mostly, because this Blasmus Vial is now absolutely amazing. Uh, accuracy, stun, blight. It was out on some stress resists. Like that's that's a it's like the greatest trinket that has ever existed in this game. Um, obviously, the trinket's got some rebalancing with the uh, most recent update, and I would say that's a big part of it. Uh, the negative aspects of some of the very rare trinkets have been uh, marginalized. So I like that a lot, and it's one that we do not have. So I'm thinking the Swine God is going to be next up on our kill list. And as far as who's going to go, actually these guys are all right in a row. Um, I kind of like that. The uh, They're almost uh, like a marking team. Uh, we're missing out on an Arbalist. Unfortunately, we don't have a level 6 or even a level 5 Arbalist. Uh, so that's not something we could really take advantage of. So Poye here is not really a marking type character, but between his Retribution and his Rampart, he is still quite devastating. So uh, I, I think this could get the job done. Uh, we've got a full complement of Trinkets, also got some pretty amazing stun stuff going on with Port here. All right, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Uh, we're gonna be heading into the Warrens. Now this is a boss fight, so we're not going to be staying very long in the Warrens. Um, maybe bring a little bit more food than is even necessary. I'd say a single shovel, like two of those, two of those, two of those, and two of those. That should be able to get it done. Uh, similarly, I'd say a single sack of torches should be fine. Um, we're going to go pretty light on provisions I've seen in the past. Uh, that often we take on these boss battles and there's such a straight line to them that we don't need nearly as much stuff as we brought. Uh, we're not really in a position to continue adventuring after we fought the boss anyway, and so uh, why not just save the money now? Let's go ahead and check out what uh, the game has to say about the Swine God. The great thing I had managed to bring through was brutish and stupid. Moreover, it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. After all, I had a village full of it. Oh my god. Our uh, ancestors started sacrificing the estate. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. All right, so this corner is only going to be four rooms away. That seems like the most obvious choice. Uh, do we take the high road? Do we take the low road? You know what? I think I'm going to stick to the high road. We'll see how that plays out. Huh. Uh, so you can definitely see reasons for the, uh, uh, the estate as a whole. I was just listening to music for just a moment. I was like, Does, that sounds really different. Then I realized I haven't played anything but the Cove uh, in, in several days. So that's that probably had a lot to do with it. Uh, you could certainly understand the members of uh, the estate being less than okay being sold down the river as uh, Swine God's dinner. Hmm. Oh. Lead. Two, four, not gonna do it. Uh, let's go ahead and retribution here. And we'll see what we can attract as far as damage from the other guys. Well, doesn't even care. Apparently, puppy tastes a lot better. Gently. Ooh. This is how a life is taken. Oh, and yeah, so no one cares. Okay then. Uh, there's also like a fancy new repost uh, emblem there. That's pretty cool. I'm liking a lot of the UI redesigns. They're all very sharp, very on point. Kudos to uh, Red Hook on all of them. Eh. 
if you mark everybody, then you've marked nobody. <laughs> like, at a certain point, it just uh, stops mattering, truth be told. Uh, but you know what? Let's go ahead and shut his little drumming down. Considering we did not bring a bard of our own. Alright, that's going to kill him. He's going to take two. We'll do a Confidence little bit more damage to him. In this case, little meaning 15. Oh my god. Such amazing heals. Yay. Alright, I can no longer crit off that. So I guess uh, maybe I, I shouldn't really be doing that kind of stuff anymore. And, uh, a slow death. Unforeseen. instead focus on uh, maybe buffing characters uh, towards the end. It might be worthwhile to uh, consider loadouts of skills that afford you the opportunity to do that. Meaning that your characters plan for the times when they're not able to attack and have equipped appropriately in order to do so. Right, let's go ahead and check out the sack. A little bit of gold. A-okay with that. You know what? We're not going to be down here long enough for me to be trying to conserve supplies either. Yeah. Okay. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Alrighty. Ah, uh, more vomiting. Lovely. People just do not like you, Port. I mean, I'm sorry, but... Blow. Given uh, lots of alternative choices, characters time and time again have said, you know, I think I want to attack that guy. Crit damage. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the stun. Also, I might want to consider... Do I want these guys in the second or third position here? Grievous injury. Palpable fear. I don't know if I'd consider three to be a grievous injury, but okay, sure, whatever you say. Can he do He can hook and slice from here, he can flashbang, he could yeah, yeah. He should be in the third rank. He can do everything from the third rank. That he can do from the second. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Let's go for another stun here. Resist the move, but not the stun. We'll stain our robes a little bit with some pig vomit. It's a good plan. Yeesh. I. <laughs> I often find this to, to be true, but um, my my calibration gets a little bit off. Like in the other party composition that we've been using so very often, we're extremely dodge heavy, jesters and highwaymen and grave robbers. Their formation is broken. And so getting Maintain the offensive, getting hit at all is uh, not a good thing. Like. In fact, it's very scary, and we kind of assume that we're going to dodge almost any incoming attacks. Well struck. That's certainly not happening here, but I don't think it's as bad as my my brain like initially feels it is. All right, just you and me now, Swine Slayer. That was a good dodge. I can deal with that. And then a singular strike. A one of these. Yep, yep. Bleed, stun, buff, check. And then the heal's probably worth it. The heal wasn't worth it. Okay. You live, you learn. But that's gonna take care of him and this. Gonna take care of him. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. Uh, so the unlocked strong box, I do not believe benefits from a key. It is simply contents are ours. 
Alright, I can always do with more gold. Uh, we'll go ahead and use our food for what we brought it for. Top everybody off. Yay. Check out the sack. Also, yay. Although 50 gold is probably a little underwhelming. In Radiance, may we find victory. I'm just going to ignore the books. There's really very little they could do for us that I would be that interested in. Ooh. Surprise. Okay. So let's go with... Missing him. That was... That was 100% my plan. Okay. Let's go with... Missing him. Okay. So far... I'd say the plan is going swimmingly well. Really? Does suddenly surprise mean that you're incapable of being hit? Is that the trade-off? Like, you can't act but no one can hit you? Because they're not having any trouble hitting me. And they're giving my Houndmaster rabies. I'm not okay with that. Something about it feels racist towards dogs. <sighs> okay. Um, you know what? Even with the buff, I'm still going to go for the stun. Oh my god, seriously? I don't think that was the wrong choice to have made. Just because it didn't work. You know, that's, that's interesting. I First of all, let me just preface this with, I have thick skin. It's not, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, and people are still free, free to do it all the time, but it sometimes surprises me, oh, that was so good, uh, when people leave me comments about the mistakes that I made based upon what happens later. You know, like, clearly, sometimes you make mistakes that aren't revealed until a later light, but, um, not on a, a video comment, but a Reddit post recently. Uh, someone left a comment that I had wasted time by uh, by moving a character. We, we had been party shuffled. I had attempted to move one of my characters back. And then immediately after that, uh, one of the other characters went and moving them back, moved the first character like back to their original slot. I hope that made sense. Um, and, of course, that wasted the first turn. And, and you're 100% right. Nothing about bigger the beast, me moving that the character the glory. that then immediately got reset to that position by another character kind of leaping past them was helpful. However, I do not have a crystal ball and therefore have no ability to know which order my characters are going to be going in. Uh, that was something the developers intended, is there is not perfect knowledge when you are in the fight. And uh, it was it was discussed quite a bit when the initial early access build was released that no people wanted to see a turn order. They wanted to know uh, which order characters could go in and Red Hook basically said no, that that was not something that they were interested in doing. The compromise, so that you didn't have to keep everything sort of straight in your own head, was the little uh, ticks for characters who haven't acted yet, so that you would know who had and had not gone during the turn, instead of trying to keep it straight in your head. But they did not want you to know who would be acting in what order. And that is a key. The reason for that is it allows for... You know what? Um, I can't even remember. Do I even need portraits? I think portraits are the thing I need. Um, I know I don't need deeds. I also no longer need something else. It might be portraits. I think I might need busts and crests. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Oh yeah, a trap. Um, 
So without that, you know, perfect knowledge before you, you're going to make decisions that are as the match best broken. informed as the they could be at the time. Alright, Port, everybody has been loving to hate on you. I'll give you a little bit of food here. Do the same there. Use the holy water on both of these guys for a little early resistance. And then, um, oh, that's kind of silly of me. But oh well. I will go ahead and pomp his side. I'm not even, I'm not even concerned about the swine god. Yeah, Wilbur, I'm stunned. That makes, that makes sense. Okay. Well, we know he's going to get attacked anyway. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if Repost would be worthwhile here. Uh, probably not, all things considered. Man, you have so much HP. Really? You resisted that? Okay. Hmm. That stings. That stings. Alright, Wilbur. Okay. I'm gonna target the same guys over again. Um, I'll go with the weird reconstruction. Five is not amazing. I'll also try for the stun again. Really? 145. Let's check the numbers. 40, 60. It's like 200% base, so I've got like a 55% chance. I guess that's not as amazing as I would have hoped it would be. Okay. Similarly, what are you looking at? Uh, 164, not enough. That's like 20% chance to, uh, to stun. I'd say his 32 damage is worth a lot more than that. A little wild flailing. Who doesn't love some good wild flailing from time to time? Okay, and these two. Awesome. Uh, swine god wild flailing. Okay, that was a good dodge. I'm I'm totally totally a okay with that dodge. Uh, I also think it is now time for a little dog biscuit action. And then we'll do a one of these. I'm still, even one turn of this guy not attacking us, I would be super thrilled by. So I'm going to keep doing that. All right, sorry about that uh, slight gap there. Um, apparently, I do not have the train schedule down as well as I thought I did, and a train went by. <laughs> so uh, that had to get oh, slightly cut out. Man, we could uh, definitely be getting better heals, <sighs> which is a little bit disappointing. We're doing pretty good work. We're uh, more than halfway through him. Impressive. Things like that quickly catapult us further. Uh, with his stun resist right now, I'm actually just going to go with Retribution. It's really only got about a 50-50 chance of paying out. Oh, that's not good. Oh, thank God. Okay. Never mind. Everything's going to be fine. I, I had a minor heart attack there. Um, I actually knew that, right? Like, that it, I think used to be the case, but it got removed at some point. I've never seen it happen. But I'm told uh, that attacking Wilbur with Repost at one point was still deadly. And we have got this in the bag. How quickly the tide turns. Okay. Maybe not as in the bag as I had hoped. Uh, you know what? Your sun resist isn't all that high. <sighs> um, ears. Excuse me? Blurred vision. 
Hey, excuse the end me? Approaches. <laughs> Uh, so I guess his free turn can't be stunned away from him. Um, he gets two turns per turn, um, one of which he just acts regardless of what is going on with him. Oh, come on now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually try to save. As the Never mind. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. I was going to say something about how I was going to save the uh, mark for the mark that also removed dodge. Ultimately, it didn't matter one bit. We'll go ahead and continue adventuring, and we're going to pop our firewood here. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. And we mostly want to remove uh, some stress, which we have very little ability to do. We're, we are not the uh, anti-stress party, apparently. Scouting. Companion. No, no. Okay, well, that was a giant oversight. And basically, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, that was a pretty wasted uh, campfire there. Alright, well, I'm not too concerned. Things went just fine on their own. Alright. Alright. I still have to get accustomed to uh, seeing all the sold back stuff right at the beginning there. Uh, obviously, a little bit light on rewards, but the biggest thing that I'm concerned about is this Blasphemous Vial, which I think is going to be absolutely fantastic for a while. Also, uh, okay, I corrected all of their XP amounts. Um, if they like just leveled back up to uh, level 6, and it capped out at 60 that time. Slugger, Inu, Steady, Vampiric, Scrounger, replace Stout, which isn't really all that amazing, and Dud Hitter isn't too bad. And we come back with really only Port needing to de-stress. All in all, I'd call that op success. You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. Um... As time goes on, I get more and more frightened by uh, the, the, the narration and the fact that it seems that uh, we're not reading a letter anymore, right? Like, that that has to clearly be the case, that um, the ancestor is still kind of cognizant of what's going on, and he's narrating this in real time. Uh, which makes me worry about having to face him one of these days. Uh, one thing, we do have some improved space here, is that I would like to pick up Rascent, we'll never drink, scouting armor upgrades. Okay, that's actually pretty good considering we'll likely have to spend Barbaric money on you. Rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Uh, likely have to spend money on you in the future. And also, Taliboy. Ta Taliboy? Ta Tibo? I, I have no idea. Anybody in the comments, help me out there. Uh, we are likely going to need another cultist before to too long. the abyss, one must know it. Um, other classes that we are lacking in would be... Oh, I didn't even realize there were like... You know what? I do not like your name, Calibobo. Uh, so on the basis of that alone... Slumped shoulders, wild eyes... And a stumbling gait. This one is no more good to us. I am thinking that Pansavolt is uh, is something that I can handle saying. Uh, also, Malibis as a second Houndmaster. A lawman and his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. I would like to go ahead and at least mix up his character art, though, so they're not matching Houndmasters. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we can still use Plague Doctor, we can still use Arbalist, but 
None here for now. They also didn't quite increase the uh, stagecoach size as much as I would have liked them to. Uh, as you can see, we still don't have enough to grab two of everybody. We're, we're one short. We're forced to make a hard decision of which one character class do we not like as many, uh, as much as everybody else. It's a hard decision to make. It's a very hard decision. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos on the channel every single day. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes. And I will catch you guys next time.